again, it, I think it's um, uh, people putting a, a false hope in the, in the political arena. I mean, but, but I, and I think it reflects something else about the American people. Unfortunately, I believe that <clears throat> the American people have, have lost love and respect for the United States Constitution. I believe that the American people have utter contempt for the United States Constitution. And this contempt uh, <clears throat> brings people into office like Barack Obama or like uh, uh, George Bush and others. And, and, to, and my evidence for contempt, my charge of con uh, the uh, American people having contempt for the Constitution, is ask yourself the following question. In, in 1794, Congress appropriated $15,000 to help some French refugees. James Madison, the acknowledged father of the Constitution, he stood on the floor of the house irate. And he said, I'm virtually quoting him, he says, I cannot undertake to lay my finger on that article in the Constitution that allows Congress to spend the money of their constituents for the purposes of benevolence. Hmm. Now, if you look at the federal budget today, two thirds to three quarters of it is for the purpose of benevolence. Hmm. What do you think would happen to a politician? What do you think the American people would do to a politician today who would say the same thing that James Madison mm. said. They would eat him up alive. Mm. Because what the American people believe in, they believe that politicians should be able to facilitate their right to live at the expense of another person. That is, the American people believe that politicians should use the power of their office to take what belongs to one American and bring it back to them. Now, 